Akshiya G1 Review This wristable comes with easy-to-use calibrations and syncing, plus a user-friendly app, making it perfect for those with high blood pressure, though its precision is difficult to gauge. The Akshiya is comprised of two separate parts, a diminutive and unobtrusive bracelet, as well as a larger cuff for monthly calibration. The bracelet weighs merely 22 grams and comes complete with a 14 mm wide waist belt. On its outer side, it displays a vivid green flashing optical photoplethysmography sensor. After going through a two-week testing phase, we hardly detected it with the exception of one moment even when dozing off. Reprehensibly, it is not waterproof so you have to take it off each time you take a shower or plunge in. Akshiya has informed us that this flaw will be fixed in the next model. What makes the Akshiya markedly distinct from other smartwatches is its cuff. It is very reminiscent of bicep asymmetric appliances that are accessible for domestic use, however, this one has a smaller frame and uses Bluetooth to correspond with the Akshiya app during the once monthly calibration. It weighs 264 grams and measures 130 by 75 by 20 millimeters. The Akshiya is not difficult to activate, albeit it does need a few minutes. You will require the Akshiya application, an account, and a code from your acquisition that links your account to the cloud. You will then have to associate your phone via Bluetooth to both the bracelet and cuff consecutively, then attach the bracelet on your arm and the cuff on your upper arm. It's now time for the calibration process, which involves verifying that both the wristband and cuff are linked to your phone. During this process, it necessitates two readings from the cuff to calibrate the system. We had to make a pair of tries during our tests in order to connect these items successfully. The cuff then got a single reading and let us know to come again later. That may have been bothersome, but from a health point of view, that technique was ideal. Ultimately, folks with elevated blood pressure should not be wound up attempting to configure a contraption. Subsequent to a few hours, we efficaciously went through the steps and got indicated by the application another adjustment with the cushion would be necessary within a month. Apart from needing a calibration using the cuff and recharging the bracelet every two weeks for a couple of hours, Akshiya's automated blood pressure readings require no maintenance, working quietly in the background. Blood pressure readings are composed of two obligations in millimeters of mercury systolic and diastolic. Akshiya utilizes its clamp and the wristband's PPG detector to take estimations at precisely the same time to modify the previous and amplify the exactness of its calculation. That's something that you do not get with a smartwatch that claims to do something similar. The alignment of the band to the armlet is essential because veins are thinner at the wrist than in the upper limb, so blood pressure readings have a tendency to be higher and more unsound. Hence Akshiya's algorithm. It's hard to accurately determine how precise its figures are, but it was advocated for BP measurement in the adult population during a trial. When measuring our blood pressure in resting conditions and displaying the results on Akshiya's straightforward app, all readings were consistent and in the healthy zone. Once you open the app, it will sync with the bracelet, this process takes around a minute. After all of your gathered data is uploaded to the cloud in seconds you can check your average blood pressure, as well as a chart that highlights your systolic slash diastolic values averaged every two hours for each day. It's promptly clear, despite the lack of total data scrutiny, that blood pressure changes constantly around the clock, thus, the norm value has its purpose. The recording also offers a daytime median and an overnight median along with affirmative communication and computation and comments concerning your resting heart rate. Disturbingly you can then conceive a basic PDF report to display your doctor that outlines all. The Akshiya app is straightforward and beneficial, though it could benefit from integrations with other fitness loop applications like Apple Health. Additionally, we noticed that entering our bedtime manually may mislead the device into measuring our blood pressure when we were still attentive and active. The Akshiya rarely demands much energy, only possessing a single luminescent PPG with minimal abilities. The manufacturer has stated it should last for about a week but remarkably the battery still had about 30% after 10 days running. A recharging of around one hour was needed to bring it to full capacity. The bracelet needs to be refueled using a small, exclusive charging dock even though it replenishes with a micro USB port. It isn't too large, measuring 34 mm in width, and can easily be misplaced. The cuff is hooked up to power with a micro USB cord. 
Considering the prevalence of USB-C, we would like to see it used on both the refueling dock and on the Kufwanakshi Earls out its second generation.